Yeah, hey there, Emmy. Building volume here on Boylston Street of a lot of police activity and fans, as you can see across the way. As we mentioned before, some fans, some from New Hampshire, already taking their place along the parade route here. Uh, they are expecting about a million people plus to arrive here for the parade today. So it's gonna be very crowded down here. And I'm sure with the weather that we're going to have today, there are gonna be a lot of people heading out here. We might even have more than that. We are located right in front of the Heinz Convention Center, as we've been saying this morning. This is uh, where the Patriots are going to board those duck boats. And once they leave the Heinz, they are going to make the turn onto Boylston Street. From there, they're gonna head down Tremont Street, Cambridge and then to City Hall and there will be no post parade rally at the plaza. It's kind of wraps up and they'll hop on the buses from there. A total of 23 duck boats are ready to go. City leaders are reminding spectators that bad behavior will not be tolerated. So leave the beer cans at home. If you plan on taking the tea, you are urged to have a game plan in place. Uh, the subway will have rush hour service all day long and some commuter rail trains will have extra cars to accommodate all of the uh, fans hopping on board. You'll still need to give yourself plenty of extra time though. Uh, parking in station lots will be tight, so if you can carpool, please do. Uh, the MBTA is also strongly suggesting you buy a round trip fare when you get here so you don't have to buy that on the way back because there'll be a lot of people on those stations. There's also a Bruins game tonight at 7 o'clock at the Garden, so trains and stations are going to be very crowded during the uh, evening commute as well. So the T says you might expect an hour or two hour delay. So be aware it's going to be very crowded down yeah, here. Yeah, it's going to be a busy place here in Boston.